Hey there, Postal here. So today we are going Tier 5. We're taking out the, uh, I was going to say quintessential, but really it's just iconic, uh, at least for me as an American. Uh, this is Zero, the A6M2. We're in a Tier 5 battle. Looking at the enemy team, the Key 43 1C might be a pain in the butt as far as turny turny ability is concerned. Um, but it's even less uh, speedy and altitude than I am. Um, one thing, you know what, I'm just going to go to the center. I want to get as many, so it's a three sector map. I hate three sector maps. This could cause me to lose. But I'm just going to go to the center and literally swivel on the center. This plane and this line up until tier 7 does this better than any other plane, arguably. Um, and it's literally just go to a sector and just own it. Um, and it can own it because it can turn so freaking well. The key, uh, not the plane, but the key to being successful, successful with that tactic is making sure that you're paying attention to the heavies, the planes that have all the airspeed and altitude performance, and making sure that you're not getting caught out by them. Um, I need to, speaking of not getting caught out by, let's get down further to where my uh, maneuverability is actually a thing. Go. Pull down a little bit. I need to do that nifty trick with the secondary guns, but I don't have that ability right now. So many planes. But I really don't care that I'm like surrounded by planes. Like you don't feel that way in this plane because if anybody gets on your tail, you just out turn them. Especially when you look at a game like this and I then I look and I go, okay, I can almost certainly out turn everybody, right? Oh, the airspeed, or lack thereof. Let's get back down a little bit. Get some airspeed going towards us. The heavy's way too high. Here we go, we own the airfield, yay! Let's get this XP44. He's doing the right thing by staying up high, but he's not doing the right thing by not paying attention to me. And look at my airspeed just completely drop. Oh, and freaking 75 miles an hour? I mean, I go faster on the interstate, right? get down but at this point now my job is basically done if I can actually hit this guy thank you let's get down lower so now they've got to come to me now, I went that high and I kind of coasted like I did because I knew or was you know paying attention to the map and knowing that I could um, do that because there was only one guy out there All right, so everything that's around me I can outmaneuver right Let's get rid of this guy just to get make sure that I don't have to worry about turny turnies. He's not the turny turniest. Actually, I'm very not fond of the I-17. Um, all right, all right, all right. Oh shoot, it's a yak. The thing with a yak is it can punch me in the face, and I don't need to be punched in the face. This plane, like every single Japanese plane in the game, uh, will burst into flames if you look at it funny. Uh, which is kind of ironic, its paint scheme is flames. Um, it's a truism. I like that they uh, gave that to us as the... Uh, gave it to us as a paint scheme. Um, I've done so much to try to counteract its bursting into flames. Um, I've done so much, like, you know, putting the bleed system on, um, you know, setting setting up pilot skills for it and all that kind of stuff. Now granted, this pilot is a 50% pilot or a 60% pilot now that I've flown him a couple times. Um, first skill point I'm going to use on this plane, just like I do with any Japanese plane, is going to be the firefighter skill. Um, might change it at a later time, but you always want to start with a firefighter skill on a Japanese plane because they just they catch on fire so easily. Especially when you're going against planes that have a lot of machine guns, which are a lot of machine gun planes at tier 5-ish and stuff. So, it's ironic. American uh, fighters are, like, kind of the bane of these planes' existence as, as far as being hit by their guns are concerned. Um, if you can avoid being hit by their guns, then American fighters are easy to kill. No. Very insightful, huh, Postal? 
Um, so all I'm doing here is I'm just swiveling and next target, next target, next target. I'm paying attention to the map as you as you have to, um, no matter what plane you're in. But it's imperative that you pay attention to the map on this plane because if you get chunked away by a heavy plane, um, if you just allow planes to kind of come towards you and, and you know boom and zoom, zoom and boom, whatever, um, you will regret what the heck you're doing. I'm uh, trying to pay attention here. I'm trying to not, um, you know, actually get myself lined up for an uh, enemy to get behind me and kill me, because I knew that I had to get a little bit higher here. The plane doesn't like being high, which is funny for a plane. But it is what it is. Speaking of machine guns, avoided that multi roll. Let's see if we can get this guy knocked out. Thank you. Trying to hang on to the center here. Now, if anybody starts coming at me, um, you know, and, and really, honestly, truly making my life a headache, I'm going to just dive straight down. Um, and get down to where my maneuverability is king. Right now, nobody's doing anything about me, so, okay. And we're just going to, you know, play this plane to its strengths. It's str you 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 have to avoid its weaknesses at all costs because its weaknesses are so incredible um, that anything that you try to do to like con counteract the airspeed or counteract the um, lack of altitude is just going to be a waste of your energy as far as your equipment is concerned and as far as your gameplay is concerned. So you know you might as well just. You know, hug your uh, maneuverability. You know, just love it because it is what is this what makes this particular plane this particular plane. It's what makes this line this line. So if you're going down this line for anything other than um, extreme maneuverability, then you're going down the wrong line. I'm proud of you, pilots. Head back home. And there we go. Um, literally just going to one sector and sitting there. Now, clearly, clearly, you know, this battle just set itself up for that. And that's kind of the annoying part of this plane. Hear me out. If this was a battle that had five sectors, is this, if this was a battle that had, like, mining facilities um, on the corners, things of that nature, a lot of the maps that you'll get, especially the higher you get up, you're going to have less of, of an impact. Um, or you're going to have less opportunity for an impact. There's a lot more maps where this type of plane is, you know, can be counteracted by a plane with a lot of speed because there's five sectors that you can go capture the other four sectors. Um, there's a planes with a heck of a lot more speed that can just really kind of hit it and, and keep going and, and kind of counteract your extreme maneuverability. But at tier five, especially in a tier five battle, Something like the AMs, uh, the A6M2, um, can just literally, like you saw it there, right? I just went to a sector. I didn't even attempt to go to other sectors because I was trying to boost up my personal experience, personal points. Went to a sector, swiveled until I was dizzy, and then swiveled some more and killed everything that came into line with me. Now, it would have obviously changed if they, you know, tried to do something about me. I don't know why nobody tried to focus on me. It's tier five, so it is what it is. Um, but even if two or three planes came at me at the same time, even with a 62% pilot, I still feel very confident that I can outduel two or three people at the same time because this plane's maneuverability allows you to do that. Um, and honestly, the rest of the line is very similar. It's just sometimes you'll get you'll get out uh, maneuvered by. Oh my God! Please hold. Sweet baby Jesus. So I had this thing stuck. Oh, <laughs> uh, you know what? I knew when I bought it back. Jeez. I knew when I bought it back that, um, oh my God. Okay, so obviously this plane can be, can be very strong even stock. When I bought it back, I posted a video 
with me and my son, my youngest, and just showing him buying the paints and I accidentally went into a battle completely stock with a completely stock pilot and no equipment. Um, this is the same pilot, so maybe it's just the pilot, maybe it's not me. Um, but I completely forgot when I came in here, I put the equipment on it and stuff like that. I completely forgot to upgrade the guns and things of that nature. So the guns are actually a little bit stronger. The engine is a heck of a lot better, actually. Um, right? Yeah, it's like 25% uh, stronger on the horsepower. Um, anywho, this plane is really, really good at doing what it's good at. Don't try to do what it's not good at. You will regret it. Um, you notice when I went above my altitude limit, quote, you know, not limit, when I went into the yellow for altitude, I did it when I knew I wasn't being focused or when I was just one-on-one -on -one versus somebody. Um, you know, I'm not trying to chase people down. There's plenty of times where you saw, uh, when I was going for somebody, you know, they're moving away from me. Um, I, I go to somebody that's moving closer to me or moving towards me. Um, you don't want to waste your energy because this plane does not have a whole lot of energy to give. What it does have to give is extreme turnability, which is not a word, or maybe it is. Go look it up. Um, and it can completely own a sector. This whole line is on, up until tier 7 is exactly like this. Um, just straight up. The A7M at tier 7, which is what I was tempted to actually take out today, um, but I did one of my recent, quote unquote, recent um, videos was on the A7M. That plane, I have more aces in that plane than any other plane that I've played in the game. Um, if I need them, if I'm, uh, there's, the past years, there's been like ace missions and you get like whatever for it. That's the plane I take out. I need an ace, let me go hop in my A7M. Reason being is, um, the same exact thing I just did here. The, uh, they just feed to you. The next plane comes in and they think they can get you and you out turn them, you do some wiggling, you don't just you know turn in a circle, you might turn in a, in a loop of some sort. Um, if you're paying attention to the map, it's very difficult to get you if you're you know avoiding, if you're purposefully avoiding getting hit. And that's what you need to do in this plane because once you get hit, you, you lose your hit points very, very quickly. You will catch on fire more times than not and there's not a lot you can do about it. Even on planes where, uh, Japanese planes where I've put the firefighter um, um, skill on there, the you know, equipment that helps against fires. This is one that uh, the fire, the actual firefighter skill is the one that I recommend doing because it ex automatically extinguishes the fire by active maneuvering. In a zero, you should be actively maneuvering all the time anyway, so it's like intuitive. You can put out the fire very quickly. But even putting this on here, even later I'll put fire resistance um, if I've just got a, a, a pilot point to toss around you can put you know a bunch of different things on here to counteract the fire but at the end of the day you, I don't want to waste too much energy on those skill points or too much energy on that equipment too much energy on those consumables I set my plane up to avoid catching on fire in the first place meaning I'm just gonna go all in on my maneuverability if I'm avoiding getting hit then I'm not going to catch on fire, right? If I'm using my eyes, paying attention to the map, turning turning to avoid it out of caution, you know, even before I get hit, just I'd rather avoid getting hit and, you know, take myself out of a dogfight because I can get right back in the dogfight. I'm in a zero. Like, it's not like I can't outmaneuver the guy in front of me. So avoid the hits in the first place, and you can use those equipments, you can use those pilot points, you can use those consumables for things that I believe are more impactful. Um, I'm always going to use the freaking uh, first aid just because I want to get my pilot back in the battle. I think, you know, losing your pilot is more detrimental than, you know, having your plane on fire. Just avoid getting your plane on fire. I know it's easier said than done. I'm not saying it's easy. But honestly, it'll make you a better pilot for this entire line. It'll make you a better pilot just in general if you're taking that skill set of avoiding getting hit in the first place. Um and you can just make your plane better. That makes sense. I'm sure it makes sense. You guys aren't stupid. All right, so this is the A6M2. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, it's Japanese week, so I'd recommend you know go down these lines. There's some really fun planes. Um, you know, I kind of got bored with the line just because it's more of the same. But honestly, that's not necessarily a bad thing. If you're if you enjoy the tier three, then you're going to enjoy the enjoy the tier seven. And they're all very good on this particular line. 
Once you jump, I will do be, be doing a video on the Jawas. Very unique planes, very, very strong planes. Um, I'll probably be doing the JW2, J7W2, um, maybe the W3. If you guys want one or the other, feel free to comment and I'll, and I'll follow uh, whichever the guidance is for you guys. Uh, but this whole line is really built for doing exactly what I just did. If you can go to a sector and own it, go to that sector, own it, and um, you will get some ridiculous personal point games. You will get some ridiculous um, high kill games. Um, just keep in mind, like, if I needed to go to one of those sectors, it would take me five minutes, and it might already be flipped by the time I got there, because that's the way the zero line works. Anywho. <laughs> hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed the commentary. Hope I gave some perspective on, um, you know, how to utilize your, your equipment and consumables and pilot points. Um, I'll still be putting a firefighter pilot point on here when it's one point, because it's really the best thing you can do with one point on a Japanese plane for sure. So keep that in mind too. Anyhow, keep out there, keep on kicking butt, and um, take advantage of the 20% and have a great day. Bye.